Hello everyone in the mod community and today I'm going to be re-reviewing the Traveler's Backpack mod for 1.20 plus and this is going to be for fabric since this is a fabric version of this mod. If you guys are inquiring about Forge there is a tab in the upper right so you guys can go watch that video if you are planning to use Forge instead of fabric. Well about that I am currently on Forge and I thought something was going to be different. So nothing pretty much is different. Probably some of the modeling or probably the icons look a little bit different, but that's probably it. Everything else is just pretty much similar. So if you guys are watching the fabric version, it's gonna be similarly applied to Forge, unless you guys are saying, oh, what about the keybinds? So about the keybinds, just go to your controls, go to your keybinds, scroll all the way down until you see Travel's backpack and you can reconfigure them to your uh, personal preference. So nothing hasn't pretty much changed here other than just, hey, it has a Forge title while the other one has a Fabric title. But it has been a very long time that I have actually reviewed this backpack mod. I mean, probably like months ago, I have probably helped some people with the backpack mod and many people have been requesting that I should re-review it again is because there's new items, new weapons, no, not weapons, since it's just backpacks, but new items, new upgrades, new stuff, new perks, new stuff, and more new stuff. Firstly, let's start off with the upgrade modules. So we have the blank upgrade. So if you look at the tooltip, it says shift click on place backpack to remove all tier upgrades, removes excessive fluids in tank and scatters items around backpack. So if I want to uh, show you guys that example, but first, I'm just going to show you guys how to craft these upgrade modules. So in order to craft the blank upgrade, all you just need is six pieces of leather, two backpack tanks, and one chest just to get a quantity of four. So you can literally make four upgrade modules as you like. And let me just show you guys how to upgrade or craft um, tier upgrades. So to craft iron, all you just need is surrounded a lot of iron. Um, for gold, gold, diamond, diamond, and for this one, all you just need is a smithing template, a uh, blank upgrade, and a netherite ingot. And remember guys, if you see this, this is for 1.20 plus. And if you look at the tooltip again, it says use leather as template and combine with leather, tears, traveler's backpack, and smithing table to apply upgrade. So that's how you actually apply the upgrade. But let me show you guys visually. So what they mean by that is you need a piece of leather, a leather backpack, and an upgrade module just to get yourself the iron tier. So that's how what they mean when they say use leather, then a leather tier backpack, and an upgrade module for any backpack that you want to upgrade. And here are the tiers. So you have leather, iron, gold, diamond, and netherite. So you're probably inquiring what happens if you upgrade them. So, wait, what the hell? Hey, bro, 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 how did the cow, how did the cow escape? Like, what the hell? Bro, bro, like, whoa, bro, whoa, 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 whoa. How did you escape? Lava, you're, uh, okay, Um, I don't know how to explain that. You're probably wondering about the tiers, like I said. So you have leather tier. That gives you that much inventory space. This is iron. This is iron. This is gold. Well, I'm just gonna use this as an example when I use the blank upgrade. This is diamond, like this, and netherite this. So netherite was probably looking like this way before, or was probably looking like, I, I, I don't know, probably like this size. I think it was like this size or this size. It's been a while I have actually reviewed the Travis Backpack mod. But anyways, let me show you what happens when you actually use it, when it, me when it meant removes everything and resets your tears. So all you gotta do is just place your backpack like this and you have to shift and right click. You get your upgrade module, whatever you used and you just drop all your blocks. And what happens is when you do that, your backpack is back to being leather tier. And for those that probably put like a lot of valuables in the backpack, I highly recommend just taking them out or be at your base where you don't drop them or accidentally lose them into some lava or whatever type of thing that might eat up your loot. Now we're just gonna show off the main functions of the Traveler's Backpack mod. 
So, we have the backpack. In order to craft the standard backpack or the traveler's backpack, all you just need is four pieces of leather, a gold ingot, two backpack tanks, a chest, and a sleeping bag. Or, if you find any of these um, backpacks in some randomly generated chests or any location, you can just use shears and you can just shear whatever backpack it is just to get yourself a regular traveler's backpack. The only, the only reason that you may have to shear them is if you have the backpack and you don't like its perks, you can just shear it off and just get a regular backpack with the tier included as well. To craft the hose, all you just need is a hose nozzle and four green dye. To make the hose nozzle, all you just need is one gold ingot, two iron ingots, and a lever. To craft a sleeping bag, all you just need is uh, two red wool and white wool, but it can work with any type of wool that you use. Say, for example, I have a pink one that's sitting right here or a magenta one. You just need two magenta blocks, uh, wool blocks, and white wool. And to craft a backpack tank, all you just need is two iron ingots and seven pieces of glass just to get yourself one backpack tank. And that's all you need to make the traveler's backpack. Now here are the, some of the functionalities of using the backpack. So you have the backpack that's just sitting here, right? You can also use it just to pull out the sleeping bag like this. This is what it looks like. You can just use it as any ordinary bed and you can close it up. You can pick it up and in order to equip the backpack, just press B, like the letter B, like this. Okay, uh, no, no, you don't, you don't use B, my bad. You gotta actually right click and equip it. And if you want to access the backpack, you press B to either look through your inventory, put something in your um, fluid slots, or you could just unequip and you have your backpack back in your main inventory. Also, your backpack can be assigned tools. You can literally just right click and you can just put the tools in there like that. And you can still wear your backpack. Or, let me press B again, and you can just um, access your uh, tools just by keep, you know, changing them whenever you feel like it, like this. You can only put pickaxes, axes, but I don't think swords go in there since that's not really a tool. But I'll say hose, sword, no, not swords, hose, axes, pickaxes, or anything that's just used mostly just for, as a tool. You know what I mean? Also look at the aesthetics whenever equipping the tools. This is what it looks like. Your ax might be hanging right here and your shovel be hanging at the back. But if you wanna change it around just to make it look cool, that's what it looks like. You just have a wooden ax. But hey, I actually prefer the um, diamond shovel like that. Now that looks pretty dope. Like that's really a dope back right there. Now we're here at the hose. So we have the hose that has not been assigned. So when you craft it, it's not gonna be assigned. And when you click on it, now you have accessibility to it. But there are key binds whenever using the hose. So if you go to your options, the go to your controls, your key binds, scroll all the way until you look at the tab or heading that says Traveler's Backpack. So to open the backpack inventory, these are all the default buttons, B, Z, and N. You can also change them just by clicking them and reassign them a different um a different key bind to your um, personal preference so you guys can have quicker accessibility and memorizing how to access and use the backpack. So if you wanna swap tool or change hose mode, you just use the Z button. If you wanna toggle hose tank, you just use the N button. It's gonna be kinda hard for me because um, key binds is not really my thing. But so right now we are in, uh, I don't know what mode we're in, also, you can just go to your inventory and look at the tool tips that it says current mode. It's in suck mode. So we can actually suck up fluids. So if we uh, suck up fluids just by right clicking, you see, we are we only able to hold two, um, two, like two uh, cups or two buckets of lava. It's because our backpack is leather tier. If you keep increasing your tiers, you can hold a lot more fluids as well. So. You can also drink the lava, like I remember. See, host spill mode means you can just place it right back like that. So let me just try to go back to suck mode because, I mean, we need to suck the fluids out. Jesus, it's so hard for me to remember. Okay, so that's how you change tanks. If you look how it you know, glows at the um, bottom right, that's how you change tanks. Okay, hose drink mode. So if you want to drink, you just drink the lava. You're on fire. You get fatigue, jump boost, and sprint. 
So this is like good for some certain scenarios. So if you go to your inventory, you have speed three, mind fatigue four, and jump boost. So this is pretty good just for like, you know, good for like getaways or near um, death experiences or just last resort. What I have learned from this is if you just keep spamming Z or just use the Z command or Z uh, keybind, like most people say, see, you can literally see the tool tips. It says drink mode, suck mode, spill mode. So if you want to suck it, it sucks it. If you want to spill it, it places it back. If you want to drink it, you drink it. And same goes for water. You can also suck the water. I mean, you can literally hold water and you can drink the water. Yeah, drink the water like that. If you were, if you have a mod, like some sort of apocalypse mod, and you were drinking this, you'd be poisoned. I mean, it might be good for like certain scenarios, but not always. Also, let me just do this so I can suck the lava and I can actually show you guys if you want to change your tanks just by pressing the un end button and you can just see it. See, you got water and lava. So I could key switch from lava, water, lava, water, lava, water. So if I'm drinking water, I can just drink the water instead. But sometimes it's gonna become a little confusing unless you increase your GUI scaling so you guys can see a lot more of what tank you're using. Because I highly recommend like GUI 3 or 4 so you guys can see like what you are drinking because sometimes that could be deadly depending on the circumstances. For this update, you can actually milk cows with the hose or you can just use alchemy and put it into your tank. So you can suck a cow. I mean, it sounds pretty suspicious. You can just suck them until you fill it with milk. Please, I'm not. I'm not sus, man. I'm not sus. And you can drink the milk. I mean, you just remove any perks or anything. Yeah, highly refreshing, but I'm not suspicious. Also, you can use potions and add them to your tanks. So you can add like potion of swiftness for like three minutes, for example. Open your backpack and you just start placing them in like this. So that's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. See, you just put it in there until you fill it all the way up, all the way up with that, with that speed for three minutes. And if you tr you're probably wondering, can you combine them? No, no, you really can't. See, you don't see the um, glass bottle there. It does not combine, but you can put it for the other tank if you want to, just to you know, s you know, segregate the potion effects. But that's going to be quite confusing unless you're using strength and speed. Then it's quite noticeable. And you can retrieve it back just by placing the bottle back in just to retrieve your potions. It's kind of useful just to hold a little bit of space, but you don't want to get these confused. You don't want to confuse your potions or else you might be taking the wrong potion and you're going to definitely regret that. Last but not least is the backpacks with the abilities. So we have the cactus uh, backpack all the way down to the dragon backpack. So for the cactus backpack, all you just got to do is just pick these up. So I might as well pick them all up because, well, I got to demonstrate because they all have abilities. And people might be wondering, how do you craft them? Well, you see, you can just use REI since it saves you a lot of time instead of hearing my voice going through every crafting recipe because I know it gets pretty tedious. So you got to keep you got to make everything short and sweet instead of just boring you guys to death because you guys want to get to the point of things. So you're probably wondering, how do these backpacks work, you say? So if you open your inventory, right? And it says hold shift for special ability, uh, ability description, meaning you got to hover over your item and shift. And it says acts like a real cacti. So if you look here, it actually gives you information about what the backpack back does. Instead of you asking me, what does this do? What does that do? Key, what's this? What's that? You have this tooltip here that can actually tell you a lot more information than me telling you. Since I don't like repeating things and sometimes I do get confused. So for this example, it acts like a real cactus. If it's raining and above backpack is clear sky, the backpack will fill empty tanks with water over time if you want more water dip yourself the backpack can fill up meaning if i wear this backpack for example i equip the backpack i can literally just go find a body of water or this body of water over here right and what happens is it's supposed to fill me up with this water so let me fill myself up so i'm dipping myself like myself in here i mean why that's kind of like uh oh ability to say we got to enable that ability See, there's that little switch there. You can disable or enable ability. There's like a little switch I forgot to tell you guys. So you can just basically just camp in here and just milk as much water as you can until you have enough water. 
which is quite cool, meaning you can um, just AFK with water breathing and you just fill this whole thing up with water. Also, I like the little aesthetics here for the water. Like if you guys actually look at the backpack, it might have some little, you know, little um, particles in there. That looks pretty dope. And let me just review the uh, weather traveler's backpack. Shift, immunity to weather effect. So that means if you have a weather flower or fighting the weather again, the weather is not, is not going to really bother you as much. Or even the weather skeletons. So you're pretty much safe if you wear it. The uh, creeper uh, traveler's backpack. Um, if a player is going to die, creates explosion which damage every creature around. Granting player absorption, regeneration, and fire protection effects. Ability is available every few minutes. So, if the player is going to die, it creates an explosion. So, it's like a self-destruct feature. That's quite a, that's kind of like a last resort backpack. Now, we got the Diamond Traveler's backpack. So, when you equip this, push B, always have this ability enabled. And what you see here, you just, you have been granted three protection or three armor slots, meaning... You're kind of wearing um, tunic right now, but that's better than not having any armor at all. So you're pretty much a little more durable if you look at it. And last but not least is the Dragon Traveler's Backpack. So let me just look at the inventory here and says, hold on, a backpack for real warriors. Combines magma cubes and squids backpack abilities, plus gives you strength and regeneration. You'll be invincible, but what did it cost? So I can equip the backpack just like that. Make sure it's on. You give in strength, fire res, and regeneration. And if you look here, we don't know what the regeneration is, is because it's kind of unknown. So let me just try flying up in the air and try to see how invincible I claim to be. Okay, so I'm just gonna go all the way up to max build height or way past build height just to prove something about invincibility. So let me just go to survival and let's see what happens let's see what happens guys i think i might die <laughs> invincible my ass that was definitely not invincibility bro that was just a hoax that's just a hoax that's like metaphorically speaking definitely a metaphor you got regeneration strength and fire res but you said invincibility. But what do you mean by invincibility? At what cost? Oh, I know. Dying from height. So I, they need to change that from invincibility to, well, just being slightly stacked. I know I haven't went through all the backpacks, but here's a list here of the perks whenever you wear the backpack. You could pause right here just to take in all the info from this because this is all the info that is granted and this might help you understand a little more about the abilities and perks whenever enabling these abilities. Anyways, this is going to conclude for the Traveler's Backpack mod. It has been a very long time that I have ever done a mod review because I mean, I have been focusing on many other things, but I'm kind of glad to be back, but for um, mod reviews and tutorials, I might have to post every um, every month instead of every week since this stuff does stress me out because you have to do the research and you have to test stuff and people asking a lot of questions. But hey, at least I'm here to, tr to help instead of just trying to be a content farm. But at least this helps you guys a little more with the mod and I have done an update for it. So... At least I done something better than nothing, right? Also, give a shout out to these guys for joining my YouTube memberships and you guys can join too, just to help me support all my projects, my content. But anyways, see you guys on the next one and take care.